Welcome into Miami Dolphins today, but before we get started on today's mailbag and some breaking news for the Miami Dolphins, got to shout out today's sponsor of the video, Magic Spoon. Go to magicspoon.com slash dolphins and get $5 off of your first order of Magic Spoon. Get the peanut butter flavor. You won't regret it. Again, go to my magicspoon.com slash dolphins to get $5 off your first order. The breaking news I was talking about, well, Austin Jackson is back at least, well, off the COVID IR list, the reserve COVID list, I should say. He will travel to New England separately from the team and is listed as questionable alongside Preston Williams, the only two players listed as questionable for the Miami Dolphins going into week one. Obviously, this is positive to have your starting left tackle back and active. Now, when I say he's back, he's at least making the trip. He is still questionable, not sure if he's going to play week one after missing a lot of practice this past week. So let's look at the depth chart and see of who could potentially step in at left tackle for the Miami Dolphins against the New England Patriots in week one. Obviously, Greg Little stands out. Liam Eichenberg was questionable earlier in the week. He's at right tackle. Maybe he slides over to left tackle. He did mention he hasn't played a lot of that recently, but maybe Jesse Davis goes from right to left and you plug in Eichenberg to right tackle if Austin Jackson isn't able to play in week one. But when this is all said and done, this is just going to be a game time decision for Austin Jackson, who again has been activated off the reserve COVID-19 list. Again, a very good sign for the second year left tackle out of USC, who is looking to take that next step in protecting Tua Tonga Vailoa on a Dolphins offensive line that really is the biggest question mark right now on this roster. But hey, let me know. Will Austin Jackson play in week one type Y for yes, type N for no? I'm leaning towards yes, but again, we don't know how he's feeling in terms of side effects. Sometimes those effects can last a little longer and uh, you go into game time and maybe it just doesn't work out. Obviously, the Dolphins have planned accordingly ahead. Wouldn't be surprised if Jesse Davis slides over to left tackle and you have Liam Eichenberg starting at right tackle or maybe you keep Jesse on the right side and you move Greg Little, who you traded a seventh round pick for, to the left tackle position. But let me know down in the comments by typing Y for yes or typing N for no if you think Austin Jackson will play in week one. Shout out to today's sponsor of the video, Magic Spoon. Get $5 off your first order of this delicious, healthy cereal over on magicspoon.com slash dolphins. Listen, I love eating cereal, whether that's in the morning or maybe at 1 or 2 a.m. after watching a movie on Netflix, but I just don't like the side effects of those sugary cereals we ate as kids. Magic Spoon is the perfect alternative. You get all the healthy benefits plus the great taste. You get high protein, up to 13 or 14 grams of protein. There's low carbs as well. So it, it just really makes you feel less guilty. And you get all the benefits of it being sweet and delicious as well. Listen, 100% happiness will be guaranteed on this. Go to magicspoon.com slash dolphins to get $5 off your first order of Magic Spoon. Again, magicspoon.com slash dolphins to get $5 off your first order of this great tasting cereal in Magic Spoon. Let's jump right into today's Miami Dolphins mailbag. We got Zoe asking the first question. Where do you think Tua will rank amongst the QB rankings? Top 15 or will he be below average? And hey, thanks Zoe on this last one. And I hope everyone has a great week, but a better Sunday game day. I'm right there with you in terms of this is probably in terms of Tua where he ranks is probably the perfect placement in terms of the top 15 because I think he's barely in it or right outside of it I think 14 to 17 but for the sake of this argument I'm gonna go he's in it because I think I believe wholeheartedly in what Tua has done to better his game right the footwork going downfield more what this offense has done to really get better pieces around him Chris Greer going out and drafting a Jalen Waddle getting a Will Fuller in free agency trying to better that offensive line whether it was trades in the offseason or in the preseason, wherever it may be, he's trying to make the offensive line better with the capital that he has. So I think Tua does take that next step. I think it's a little unreasonable to think that Tua will jump up into the top 10, but I do think top 10, top 15, excuse me, is reasonable. But you tell me, will Tua be a top 15 QB this season? Type 1 for yes, type 2 for no. I expect to see a lot of ones down in the comments below because I think a lot of y'all will agree with me when it comes to Tua and his breakout in 2021. 
Be sure to hit that big red button and subscribe to Miami Dolphins today. The season is officially here. And listen, we're trying to get to 17,000 subscribers. And the bosses have told me, hey, RC, if you get to 17,000, maybe even 18,000 subscribers, we'll do live shows on here while the games are going on. And we'll get live commentary. You'll be able to send in your comments and hang out with the best Dolphins fans on the Internet right here on YouTube. All you got to do is hit that big red button and stay in the know on your Miami Dolphins all season long right here on Miami Dolphins today. Next question we got is from Robert. Will Jones or X have the most interceptions between the two of them? Let's be honest. You know where I'm going. I love X. I know that there was some trade rumors out earlier this offseason and in the preseason as well, but I truly believe Xavier Howard is a top five at least a top three corner in the NFL and I think his ball skills on the outside are just elite when it comes down to it maybe Jalen Ramsey is the only one that is better on the outside when it comes to it and again I think you're going to see the transition of offenses going away from Xavier Howard but the awesome part about it is you have Byron Jones on the other side who could have a 10 interception season himself but I do think that Byron Jones is just I mean, he helps Xavier Howard when it comes to stats and vice versa, but I do think Xavier Howard will lead this team in interceptions. I wouldn't say he's going to have double digits, but hey, let's go with six or seven this year for the all-pro corner out of Baylor. Starak with this one, is Tua not being a team captain a big deal, as everyone is saying? Yeah, um, no. I don't think it's really that big of a deal at all when it comes down to it. Really because of what guys like Matt Collins and other guys on the roster are saying and saying that Tua has come out and he's shown his leadership. It's a complete 180 in terms of what he was last year. Last year he was a little quiet, didn't want to speak up, and was afraid of maybe pissing off a veteran here or two. Now he knows this is his team, and he is in command of that huddle, and Matt Collins and others have said that. So I don't take it as a slight or anything you should be worried about when it comes down to Tua not being named a captain. I just think it's one of those things where it's, okay, there's a lot of great leadership on this team, and right now Tua, he's a leader on this team, but a captain... I don't really think it's that big of a deal when it comes down to it. But I'm curious, your one-word reaction when you found out that Tua wasn't named a captain earlier this week. Again, I don't think it's that big of a deal, but let me know down in the comments your one-word reaction to Tua not being named a captain. Next question we got is from Landon. Should the Dolphins trade for Marlon Mack, trade Preston Williams, and maybe a fifth-round pick? Yeah, I'm going to be honest. Mack is not the answer, bro. He's just not. We're talking about a running back. Mama, don't let your... Uh, you know, kids grow up to be a running back. Just don't do it. They don't get paid unless you're like a top 10 guy, right? And Marlon Mack is coming off an Achilles injury and not really the guy that you probably think when you think about what he did last year in terms of, okay, he only played in one game. Then you go back to 2019. We're talking about a guy that really hasn't played football in two years and is coming off one of the most devastating injuries in sports, right? You have a guy in Miles Gaskin that is perfectly suited for a Tua Tonga Vailoa offense. Malcolm Brown will probably be the goal line back. And then you got Ahmed as well down there. So, I mean, I don't think there's really a need for it. And to give up an asset like Preston Williams, and listen, I'm a guy that I think you should shop Preston Williams just because of the depth you have at the wide receiver position. But giving up Preston Williams and a fifth to get a running back that just tore his Achilles and his fourth string on the Colts depth chart at running back, just not worth it in my opinion. This from Mark, that offensive line is going to be the Dolphins' downfall because it is suspect, or sus, as the kids are saying, down, uh, well, everywhere, I guess, on the internet. Yeah, I think that's probably true. When it comes down to the offensive line, it's going to be who can step up, right? It's the biggest question mark on this team by far. Jesse Davis is your most reliable guy. I know people in the comments don't like me saying that. Well, get over it. It's the truth. He's been the most reliable offensive lineman throughout the preseason. Who's going to step up alongside him, though? Is it going to be Austin Jackson? Is it going to be Robert Hunt, who you spent a ton of draft capital on in the second round? Maybe Eichenberg developed and makes it his way to the starting lineup? Who's it going to be on that offensive line to really make and ensure that your franchise asset into a tongue of Iloa is protected? It's going to be interesting to see, but I mean, again, when Jesse Davis is your most reliable guy, that's probably not ideal when it all comes down to it. But again, guys, hit that big red button and subscribe to Miami Dolphins today for your one-stop shop for everything Miami Dolphins news and rumors all season long. The season kicks off tomorrow. Listen, up in New England, Mac Jones against Tua Tonga Vailoa can't get much better than that. And we'll keep you in the know all season long right here on Miami Dolphins today.